Hey guys, so, um, I'm just making a small video because, um, uh, just a small while ago, it was discovered that Suzuki Takahashi, the creator of the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise, um, just recently, uh, passed away a little while ago. He was, um, he, uh, tragically passed away due to, uh, due to a diving at Again, he was traveling recently, and, uh, he was found, and, uh, his body was found, uh, near, uh, uh, near some vacation home that he was staying in, uh, near Naga, near Naga, Japan. So, yeah, the, um, he was, uh, recently found, and, uh, discovered dead recently, so, yeah, I just wanted to make this video, like, just a small tribute to him, because, honestly, Yuki Takahashi has honestly been one of my favorite, uh, manga artists for a long time now. Like, I've been, um, I've been a massive, um, fan of the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise for a long, long, long time, and, um, and, um, it was, it was technically the first anime I ever watched, because, um, because, yeah, I, um, like, yeah, uh, like a lot of people, I watched it when I was younger, like, um, my brother had a video, a video tape of the first three episodes of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, and then, uh, sometimes we would, um, I uh, just hop on Saturday morning and it was on, and it would be on Sky. So yeah, we would, um, so yeah, it's something that we, that we knew very well, and it was something that, uh, we really enjoyed watching. And even beyond that, um, I've recently begun watch, as you all know, I've recently begun watching a lot of the other shows, like, uh, GX, um, 5G, Jet Show, Art 5, and so on. I mean, um, I've been watching Yu-Gi-Oh! GX for as long as I've been watching the original Yu-Gi-Oh! But, yeah, I've just been watching the whole set by I um re but uh, about two years ago I finished watching the entire thing. So um so yeah it was just so yeah I um uh yeah I mean it's just really tragic to think that we lost another another manga artist. Um especially since um we heard the unfortunate news about how Kentaro Mira tragically passed away last year and now we're just out here hearing the news of another manga and uh, another beloved manga artist and yeah honestly it's quite so um so unfortunate and the uh, and what what's even harder to what's even harder to hear is the fact that he was only sixty years old and so uh so yeah, you know he you know, he still had a good long life left him but yeah, he um but re but yeah, tragically this had happened. So I mean but and even even like um and even beyond like just how amazing of a mo of an artist he really was with the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. He was also just an amazing storyteller, like, um, like with the manga that, that began all the way back in, uh, 19, not back in 1996, I think the manga originally started, and, um, and yeah, just the fact that, um, and the fact that it's actually still going on now with with the other Yu-Gi-Oh anime, like Yu-Gi-Oh Seven, which is um, but it's actually still being made, if I'm not mistaken, because um, and yeah, and um, and every other Yu-Gi-Oh um series is something that I want, that I'm still really, that I really want to watch. Like um, like I said, I really want to. Get the last DVD of Yu-Gi-Oh! Art 5, and, um, I really want to watch, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! V Range, or however back pronounced, and Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 as well. I would just really love to be able to watch all those, and, um, and yeah, honestly, I'm just really grateful 
to um, Takahashi for creating an, an amazing franchise, in my opinion. Like, um, like I just said, I've been a massive fan of this series for a long time, and I'm really indebted to him for creating something really amazing. And, um, and yeah, I, um, I, and, and yeah, I've been, um, I've been collecting a bunch of cards, like, for a long time as well. Like, my brother and I collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards as well, and it's a lot of fun to just talk about them, and just, and it's amazing to think that he was able to create so many amazing, uh, ideas with all these monsters and just all the card ideas as well. I, I, uh, I really, um, I really appreciate him for that. And, um, and again, I, and I also have to thank him for just creating so many of my, um, some of my favorite anime characters of all time as well. Like, uh, Yuji, like, uh, Yuji, Ham, Jaden, Yusei, and, uh, other, and even just other small characters in the other franchises as well, like in the other franchises, in the rest of the franchises as well, and yeah, just all the other characters that uh, were created, and um, and yeah, I, I'm, just, I'm just really glad that we were able to experience all this, um, we were able to experience, like, his vision, with, uh, with, with the franchise, and I'm just really, and even if maybe he didn't create every single one of the characters, he is still the one responsible for allowing us to have the characters in the first place, at least. But, and yeah, I'm just really glad that I've been a humongous fan of him and, uh, this franchise for a long time. So, um, so yeah, I mean, and like I said, I'm still hoping to hopefully see the other series and maybe do more reviews of them on here. But yeah, just for now, I'm just re I'm very glad to have been a humongous fan of him, but also very sad of his um of his tragic departure. And yeah, obviously, like um yeah, I clearly like all my condolences go go out to him and his family and all his and his friends and just every other one of his loved ones as well. And um and yeah, I just want to say again, thank you very much for uh very much to give you your hockey for for the and this, incre this uh, incredible franchise, and, uh, re and yeah, rest in peace, um, thank you very much, and, well, so, yeah, very much, so, yes, rest in peace.